Okay, Tanjida, the recording has been started. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Uh, today, in this session, we are going to study how to write an essay, an IELTS academic essay. Okay, all right. So, and I have my friend here, Tanjida, with me. Tanjida is from Bangladesh, and we both are studying together uh, in order to achieve a band seven or maybe band eight in IELTS writing. <laughs> right, Tanjida? Yes, Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Yeah, okay. So let's write. Okay, Tanjida, look, uh, I am going to teach you from the scratch, okay? As if you don't know anything at all, okay? All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it, although I, I should tell everybody, Tanjida has once scored seven bands in IELTS writing already. <laughs> Yet we are practicing together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's start. All right. Okay. So we have four paragraphs which we have to write. Uh, introduction, body one paragraph, body two paragraph, and then conclusion. Okay. Okay. Uh, sometimes you see, uh, we also have to give our opinion. Okay. So our then our paragraph increases, and then there is a third paragraph which we have to include. And this third paragraph is totally optional, and it depends. Either we have to write the opinion and or, or not. Okay. If you have to write the opinion, then you write the third par, b body paragraph. Otherwise, you don't need to write the third body paragraph at all. Tanzida, you can always correct me if or, or maybe give some inputs because, mashallah, you have also scored, you know, seven bands already. So, uh, you know, uh, your input is uh, highly appreciated. Okay. Okay, so, inshallah. But I was expecting to discuss both sides. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is you. You gave me this task now to write essay on this one. Yes, no, we can discuss the same thing because here we need to provide the opinion, right? Uh, uh, to yeah, what extent, yeah. yeah. to what just... extent do you agree or disagree? Okay, uh, yeah, let's exactly. Okay, I tell you what, um, whenever I see the topic, okay, my strategy to write because you see, in IELTS writing, we are struggling. Not only with writing essay and generating ideas, but we are also struggling uh, because we are competing with the time, right? We do have time constraints. So uh, my idea is to start writing immediately. Well, what do I do when I start writing immediately is I paraphrase the entire question because I think when you paraphrase the entire question, okay? So in that way, you get to know more in detail that what exactly the question is asking you to do okay all right so let's okay. read so the question says some people say that music is a good way of bringing people of different cultures and ages together to what extent do you agree or disagree with this opinion okay uh, all right so the question type is to what extent do you agree or disagree with this opinion it means that we pick up one side and we uh, you know, advocate for that side. Either, uh, the, for example, if I'm agreeing with this topic, so why do I agree? And I have to give two good reasons for agreeing. Or if I disagree with this topic, so I give two good reasons for disagreeing. Isn't it, Tanjida? So tell me, should exactly. we write? Yeah, tell me, Tanjida, should we write this third body paragraph in this essay or not? Okay, uh, well, let me share something mm -hmm. uh, in my first attempt when i secured seven band mm -hmm. uh, during the test i was giving oh. actually gave balanced opinion okay mm -hmm. and it was uh, to what extent do you agree or disagree mm -hmm. where i i did one thing in the body paragraph i uh, i have presented some ideas by supporting the first point that uh, it was about fast food okay i supported half of the question and then disagreed the another question another half so we can uh, actually sh uh, write in by using different structure here but uh, the most easiest one uh, is the one that you are showing yeah because i, I tell I you what it. In the IELTS essay, uh, because I saw so many uh, videos of IELTS, you know, tutorials, which are published by the British Council, okay? And they said in all of the, their tutorials, 
that we should always pick up one side okay and exactly um, yeah okay uh, sanjita what do you say uh, i was well i was just discussing with you i just thought in my mind that maybe we can write this third body uh, uh, third optional paragraph okay and we write about the advantage okay and then we say how do we outweigh this Right. Okay, in that case, I think if uh, we are writing agree disagree essay, what we can do, we can uh, say something by contrasting the opposing yeah. view, and then we will refute it at yeah. the end. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Because um, you you see, uh, if, I think I've told you what, that once I also secured, you know, uh, seven bands in IELTS writing. So in that, um, you know, uh, when I wrote the exam essay, so I actually did this. That I first of all, uh, the question type was, uh, tell me if the development is positive or negative. Okay. So what I did was okay. I said that the development is positive. Okay. I think it was about that uh, a, a person should live independently, and I am a strong believer of that. That a person should be uh, live independently and not be dependent on others. So in the third body paragraph, uh, what I did was I wrote some of the advantages, okay, and then I said although these advantages are pretty much there, yet if a person is independent, the benefits are more as compared to the negative aspects, okay. Uh, <clears throat> and then in that in that essay, I got you know in that IELTS attempt, I got uh, seven bands, okay. So let's start writing, okay. So some people okay. say that. Um, um, uh, music is a good way. Okay. Music, we have to write something about music. Some people say that music is a good way of bringing people of different cultures and ages together. Music is thought to uh, unite people of different ages and races together. Uh, music is often, often taught by many. User, music is often taught by many to unite people of different ages and races. And some people say that music is a good way of bringing people of different cultures and ages together. Okay, so uh, music is often taught by many to unite people of different ages and races together. Uh, unite, should I add together or not? I think not. What do you say? Uh, unite will work for Anna? that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, to what extent do you agree or disagree with this opinion? I am, um, nah, in my opinion, I, in my opinion, music unites people together. Now, here is the point where I have to give my two reasons. Okay. Uh, music is often taught by many to unite people of different ages and races. In my opinion, music unites music unites no music unite music unite people together mm, by what as oh my god this is a very tricky topic you know yes you know uh, i think uh, we can use balanced approach here also i don't know whether oh no, we can it use it we can use it, yes. but we are uh, right now going to write in a way that we would first of all agree with the topic, give two reasons, okay. and then um, you know uh, going to disagree because you see uh, it's a it's a very tricky thing you know to stand on both sides mm -hmm. and then you know come up to a conclusion when you are actually depending mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. No, two fifty no. words. Actually, uh, we need to write 250 words and it's true that uh, uh, writing 250 words and then uh, 
uh, supporting both point is really tricky and uh, problematic i think mm. but you know i lack ideas when i work with one side i lack ideas um that's why i always try to write balanced approach and i want to learn from you that how to write uh by using one side ha uh, okay because music is a universal language okay and okay and what it um it synchronizes minds of oh my god you look at your lexical resource thing <laughs> i don't <laughs> i don't have that much minds of people i tell you what i wrote synthesizes mind but i know that it will kill me when i will support it <laughs> okay in my opinion music unites oh my god in music unites okay see music music is taken as singular and then we are writing unite okay um music is that's why i always say that type when you are practicing i'll writing because of the reason you see uh, uh, google has then i think a contract with grammarly and they actually correct you while you're writing so you know you tend to uh, get to know where you're take, uh, doing mistakes so it's like a very good teacher who is pointing your mistakes then and there and so why don't okay why don't you use the same topic and go straight to the grammarly and right there no it will be very problematic because that teacher will keep on <laughs> keep on poking in my essay you know <laughs> after writing this then i will post it there because you see they give me score also and exactly. i am yes, a kind of a person who would look at the scores you know so it will be pretty problematic for me anyways music yes, is often, it will slow us down yeah music is thought by many to unite uh, okay music is often thought by many to unite people of different ages and races in my opinion music unites people uh, wait a minute it was agree or disagree so in my opinion wait a minute i have to change this i completely uh completely uh, agree ah uh, wow agree wow <laughs> with the notion yes notion i and to use that in my writing these days uh-huh. <laughs> i completely agree with the notion as music does unite as music does unite people together then it is a universal language and synchronizes my the minds of people okay all right uh do we have something to say about why should we disagree although although the language barrier is pretty much there hai na although you can write that uh, although music has been a key distinguisher of different cultures hmm although yeah it can be this that uh, uh, you know it varies from culture to culture and maybe the lyrics uh, you know the language barrier will be there because of the lyrics but here they are talking about the music and not the lyrics so you are pr- pretty right about that although every um, what should we write uh, okay wait we'll write it afterwards okay because since i am going to give the computer based test so i do have this liberty you know to uh, okay. <laughs> to add it add things and i envy yeah. you people for that very reason okay now look at my cleverness what i'm going to do okay i did this and i did this you know that the the way i am doing this because i am writing you see they say conclusion. yeah because you see they say that uh, your conclusion carries a lot of weightage right so okay. i am going to play cleverly okay 
and they usually say that your conclusion should not have extra statements in it okay so in order to avoid because you see when i'll write 250 word essay so definitely when i'll be writing conclusion extra mind uh, extra concepts will appear in my mind right um, exactly yeah so uh, i personally believe that if you are attempting computer based tests so you should you know uh, try to play clever and you should first of all write introduction and then you should write conclusion so in that way you will ensure that nothing is out of the topic okay so now i completely agree with the notion wait a minute uh, to conclude to conclude um uh, music is considered as one of the keys to uh to what is the other word for unite to to timely or to leveling um, no to unite to bring closer to 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 bring closer to 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 what to 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 uh, music is considered <laughs> as one of the key aspects that uh i think i should repeat my word what do you say wait i have not written combine combine people of different unify yes, did you use unify yeah. to unify Can yeah uh, music is considered as one of the key aspects that um uh, unify people of different age groups and uh of different age groups and demo graphics of different age groups and demographics together since it can we write demographic instead of culture here they say cultures i think we should we can because when they're saying culture so cultures are based on demographics isn't it yes no no if you think strong please why not um that unify uh, people of different age groups and demographics together because demographics you can, you can use you can use about nationality or different mm, nation yeah um, or different nationality is it right for yeah yeah different is group and nationalities in fact it's a better word because i was already talking about the you know democratic that how exactly they're divided demographically and all so nationality is the same thing but it's more of the synonym of uh, culture as compared to nationality okay so music is considered as one of the key aspects um uh, oh my god as one of the key aspects that unify people of yes. different groups and nationalities together since it is easier for everyone to get along with the rhythm of the music and they start to bond Similarly, subconsciously. Okay. They start to respond similarly, unconsciously. Okay. Yeah. Consciously. My previous spelling was what? Okay. Con. I did not add s in it. That is one thing when you are typing. and when you are giving you know um <laughs> a computer based test you should be very keen about your spelling mistakes because you see your brain is thinking very fast and you're typing very fast because you are 
thinking about the time constraints okay and then you do make a lot of mistakes a lot of mistakes okay anyways so um unconsciously uh, okay is it did i write the same thing now you see this is your point when you are rechecking yourself okay and i know it will take some time of yours because when you are rechecking yourself so you do spend some good amount of time but then again it's very much needed okay all right so uh, it was i completely agree with the notion as uh music does unite with people together since it's a universal language and synchronizes the minds of people right and in here i said that um no, no, that unify people of different age groups and nationalities together since it is easier for everyone to get along with the rhythm of the music and they start to respond similarly and they start okay it is easier for Similarly everyone ah it's very much it's weird anyway it's easier for everyone to get along with the rhythm of the music consequently or eventually ah, and hence they yes hence start to and then they unconsciously start to respond in a okay. similar pattern wow right so you see okay. we, although we have not even developed our main body paragraph yet we have written you know what we want to say now our um, uh, this thing is we have to write about the universal language so let's get uh, let's start okay now music is a universal language which does not create any kind of barrier right hmm. music is a universal language which does not create any kind of barrier uh it does not create any kind of barrier what should we write okay now in the upcoming line it should be why you're saying okay and you should defend your topic sentence okay this is your topic sentence and you should defend your topic sentence so music is a universal language which does not create any kind of barrier and makes it approachable to the no audiences i think more uh, instead of approachable we need an other word and makes it understandable hai na mm, yes understandable by do what music is a universal language which does not create any kind of barrier and it makes it understandable and it is under and and it is oh wow you can write about the similar underlying structure or melodic elements mm. you can write and it is understandable by the audiences right now it's looking you know sensible enough by the barrier and it is understandable or you can enrich the line by writing owing to its similar underlying structures or melodic elements yeah in that we write in our pat, uh, ex explanation hmm? okay yes yeah. exactly i am struggling here 
and where to put the explanation and where, uh, what to include in the topic sentence. Like when I have shared my writing sample with you, you saw that I have grave mistakes. Uh, I've mm. made grave, grave mistakes there in writing yeah. the topic. Yeah, okay, one thing more. Uh, I tell you what, uh, when I scored seven and I was writing, okay, uh, I remember what I did was I literally wrote this, okay, and I changed, uh, added, you know, things here. Even here, you know, music is a universal language which does not create any kind of barrier and it is understandable by the audiences, okay? So here you see, here it is two things and I'm pretty much sure I should add a comma here, okay? Why? Because this is two different things, okay? That it's a universal language and it is understandable by the audiences, okay? So when I'm saying that it's a universal languages, it's a universal languages, which is easy to comprehend by everyone, which is easy to comprehend. Uh, uh, as music uh, does unite people together since it is a universal language which is easy to comprehend by every one comma and okay you see then see that we are literally adding things up okay so music is considered as one of the key aspects for everyone to get to know the rhythm of the music. Um, the <coughs> thing. Should we write about the comprehensible thing or not? Which is comprehensible by everyone. Which is understandable by the audiences. Okay, let's go. Let it, let it go. Okay, now what should we write here? Uh, music is a universal language. Since the lyrics are not involved, since the lyrics are not involved, and one does not need to, and one cannot get offended by the uh, melody, therefore, it is enjoyed by a larger group of people regardless of age. what regardless of age or ethnic ethnic what ethnic religion creed you can include uh, okay ethnic since i'm not giving my <laughs> real eyes so i can do this cheating that i can write <laughs> ethnic <laughs> ethnic groups what should i write <laughs> is it right a community or population made by people who came to the background. Wow, okay, so I'm right. <laughs> but don't do this mistake in real eyes, okay? Don't take risks. For example, I tell you in my last essay, in the last SM of IELTS, okay, I, I had the word, uh, you know, I had to write about the views, okay? And um, I had to write the word picturesque, okay? But I totally forgot the um, spelling of the word picturesque and instead of wasting my time into you know confirming the spelling i just skipped that word and i wrote some other words related to the beautiful views 
So do not okay, do um, I I agree with you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, in my second attempt, when I scored six point five in writing, I I made one mistake. That is, uh, in the introduction, I was I was perplexed about the spelling of guardian. Okay. <laughs> and I wrote it by taking the chance and I ended up with making the spelling mistake there. Yeah, and okay, the people, I think they don't give you a seven band if you have a lot of spelling mistakes. I, I feel that, you know. I think uh, you you need not to make lots of mistakes. Uh, mm -hmm. Like uh, one or two mistakes is enough. Yeah. Uh, mistakes are enough to reduce your score by 0. 0.5. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so since the lyrics are not involved and one cannot get offended by the melody, therefore it is enjoyed by a larger group of people regardless of age or ethnic group. Regardless of, okay, for example, nowadays due to globalization, Musicians work and invest heavily on the melody of the songs instead of focusing on the language. On the, uh, on the, uh, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, uh, wait a minute. Um, so for nowadays, you do Google and musicians work and invest heavily on the melody of the songs instead of focusing on the uh, uh, message conveyed by the songs. As it will make more profit. For instance, uh, K pop music is viral these days. I don't know which is pop. Oh no way! You don't know about BDS. <laughs> oh you don't know God. about BDS. Oh, literally, I have uh, abandoned music. You mm. know. Okay. <laughs> That's why perhaps I don't know about it. <laughs> the bad. <laughs> okay. For example, K-pop music, uh, such as BDS, is viral these days. Because of, oh my God. Their, um, because of the music hmm. K-pop music such as BTS is viral these days because of the music um, which stays in the mind of the people, which attracts the people, which attracts the people. Keep more music to this while we say viral. You can provide here to be more relevant. I think you should uh, focus on somebody who is uh, somebody who is uh, spreading positive impact or impacting the society by their music. Like, yeah, K pop uh, music know. is impacting. <laughs> Ask me, my yes. students are going crazy because of the K pop music. Uh, yes, and uh, even I listen to the K pop music. Even I listen to the, you know, um, in fact, there is one song by I think Pink Love something, I don't know. 
so, you know their just name is in english and rest of the song is i think completely korean and that is super weird you know okay mom oh, no okay so such as bds is viral these days because okay is viral these days because of the music which attracts everyone throughout the world okay now now comes a very main point when you're ending the paragraph you should you know conclude your paragraph in one line okay we have already used therefore so you see here i think i have somewhere you used. can you can use third conditional here hence or uh does okay yeah does is good does does had had it not for had it you can use third conditional here isn't it even though does music well tell me one thing instead of writing music 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 again and again we can sometimes write a production right um uh, production okay production is producing the music if i'm writing about the um music you know not in the sentence i can write about not the melody i can write about the rhythm okay but production i think is a word that indicates you know producing the music developing a particular kind of music mm -hmm. like uh, in the previous line uh, bts is viral these days because of their production mm. uh, which attracts everyone throughout the world okay yeah here i can because yes context based we can their use. production has attracted everyone That. throughout the world this music could be used as a source of communication to bring everyone together wow everyone was it included in the question bring everyone together or yeah yeah bringing was it included aha uh -huh. bringing people of different yeah. cultures and age groups together look they used the best phrase in the question so they they didn't leave anything for us <laughs> 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 uh, that music is a good way of bringing people of different ages So we are done with first body paragraph, and now we'll talk about the second body paragraph. Uh, long with uh, shattering the age language barrier. Response. It is scientifically proved that uh, it is scientifically proved that our response, our neurons respond 
in a specific way irrespective of respect irrespective of the It is scientifically proven that our neurons respond in a specific way, irrespective of the our, our neurons respond in a specific way in a way. For example. Uh, okay, why you're highlighting it, Google? People who listen to rock music are usually full of energy and they tend to have a strong opinion as compared to as compared to people who listen. Acceptance. You can use the acceptance here. Yeah. Openness or acceptance. Hmm. People who Towards the other person. You're you're saying here instead of opinion. Yes. Okay. People who listen to rock music are usually full of energy and then tend to have a strong opinion as compared to, uh, and, and they tend to have a strong opinion as they, um, as they, as compared to people who listen to music of other genre. Similarly. Oh, wow. Genre. <laughs> yeah. Those who uh, listen to, uh, what do you call ghazal in, in English? Oh. Not harm not. No, no, no. no, no. Okay, wait, wait. Let me ask. Wow, look at my words <laughs> um, into English. Okay. Ghazal. Oh, wow. Thank you for doing that. Ghazal is Ghazal. Okay. Oh, my God. What do you call that? Oh, wow. We also call that Ghazal. Wow, did they actually say Ghazal? I have never heard my English teacher saying, today we will study Ghazal. <laughs> wow, okay. See, when I am not sure about it, I'm not going to put it into my writing, okay? Because simple is that I'm not sure about it, okay? So if, you can, uh, if you can't recall it, then you can Islamic sound. And write it Islamic okay. Islam. okay wait a minute um similarly those who people who listen to rock music are usually full of energy and um, they have strong opinion as compared to people similarly those who listen to uh, uh, slow music melodious music or yeah, I thought, I thought, 
Oh my God, <laughs> my daughter's not feeling well. Okay. So similarly, those who listen to, wow. Wait a minute. Let us soft music. Yay. Soft music. Similarly, those who listen to soft music are usually quiet and take time to make decisions and take time to make decisions at all I think oh, okay. promptly. Um, therefore, it is Therefore, it is evident that people of people respond in a specific manner that people who listen to a certain type of music more respond in an in an specific manner in a specific in an specific in a specific manner in a, in a but it is specific specific okay let's see um who listen to a certain type of music more respond in a specific manner oh wow let's try it off in a specific manner manner people with people all around the group because we have to tell on that okay so let's see how many words have we written so far. Okay, tools. Uh, okay, so I have already written 327 words, right? Okay. Now, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. We don't need another paragraph there. Yeah. But I can easily add one more, you know? Wait a minute. So write it now. Yeah, yeah, I will. Don't... I will, but first of all, I will check mine. Okay, here I want it to be expert. I want it to be formal. I want it to be academic. Change academic, academic, academic. You can't, you can't change that because you need to purchase the premium one. No, I think they have changed it. No, no, no. No, I have previously no, no. changed it. Wow. I couldn't change it anymore. Oh my God, they have written. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Go premium, then you can change that. Yeah, no way. I am not buying you. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let's see. Uh, okay, Sanjita, look here. I got 84. Okay, I think I should have got a good band for this essay. <laughs> because you see, I'm doing that. Due to the globalization. Yeah, okay. First of all, let's see this. Because I'm happy to share this. I have 84 here. I have five correctness five alerts only okay clarity is very good and the, i don't know what does that mean but it's engagement i think it means that how successfully i should grab the attention of people okay so here it's also good right so i personally feel grammarly is telling me indirectly that i have done a good job <laughs> okay so let's see what i've written <laughs> Music is often thought by many people to unite people of different ages and races. I completely agree with the notion as music does unite people together. So it is a universal language which is easy to comprehend by everyone. They are telling me don't put the comma. Okay. I will not put the comma. Uh, but why? Why? Why remove the comma? It appears that you have an unnecessary comma. And this is a feature I love 
about, you know, uh, because you see, they're saying that sometimes you can. You're advertising formally mm. in the public place. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I don't mind. We are actually here to learn. <laughs> you know, yeah, Grammarly should have sponsored this help. video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. Yeah, I write which a lot. I don't know why. So every time Grammarly tells me to change my right, which to that. that. Yeah. And even, you know, in my uh, IELTS essay, when I got seven bands, I also did that, you know. I literally, after writing the entire essay, I changed my so many which to that. Uh, okay. So globalization, they're saying, right, Z. Okay. The globalization. Due to the globalization. Yeah. Due there to? should have some the. The. Okay. One the. Ha ha, they're saying it is it. <laughs> Why? Okay. So they're saying an article is a short word like I and the, we know that. Uh, before a noun, to make it clear what the noun refers to, you should use an article with singular countable like person, house, apple, book, articles which are sometimes needed before plural. I don't know what. She, uh, Sam, fix problem, Sam, fix the problem. This is waste of time. This is a waste of time. Did you understand why they're discouraging? I I can see the uh, correction option. Would you please show it? You can't see. I can. No, no, half of the portion. Are... Really? I can see it. Uh, partially, I can see it. Like it seems that article after that I can. See. Yeah, I have removed it. Wait a minute. I will put it to advanced setting portion of the screen and wait a minute. Can you see now? Mm, yes, no, it's, it's visible now. Okay. So you see, they're saying that an article is a short word like, like a uh, the that goes before a noun to make it clear what the noun refers to. You should use an article with a single or countable noun. Um, I don't understand, but I should remove this the. And we will consider, remember, okay, we will dig into it that why you we don't write the here. Okay, so invest heavily in, oh my God, in. But listen, yeah. they, they, they suggested us to put one article there and there then I didn't understand what actually happened. Uh, it's okay, we'll talk about it. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. okay. Yeah, we were there. Uh, wait a minute. Globalization. For example, nowadays, due to globalization, musicians work and invest heavily in the melody of the songs and sets of focusing on the music conveyed by the song, as it will make more profit. For example, K pop music, such as BDS, has. Uh, wait, wait, wait. K pop musical band musical for example k-pop music see i even though i know that k-pop uh, band is bts okay but i don't know if i'm right or not so i have removed it okay for instance k-pop music is viral these days uh, is viral these days because their production has attracted everyone throughout the world. Thus, music could be used as a new source of communication to bring everyone closer. Although with the although with shattering the age and language barrier, oh, oh what I'm writing reading, along with shattering the age and language barriers, music is also known to make people sing and respond alike. It is scientifically proved. It is Scientifically proven, new So, can you that our it's neurons respond, cool in a, respond in a specific manner? 
it is scientifically proven since i'm pausing the video for a while okay hmm okay so it is scientifically proven that our new uh, um, proven that our neurons respond in a specific way when a specific 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 two times i don't like it when a particular music is played for example oh my god two alerts back when a a piece of particular music either remove a when a piece of particular music is played for example people who listen to rock music are usually full of energy and they tend to have a strong opinion as compared to people who listen to the music of other genre similarly those who often uh, those who listen to some music are usually polite and they tend to make decisions instead of acting promptly therefore it is evident that people all around the group who listen to a certain type of music more respond in a specific manner okay to conclude music is is one of the is a is a key to unify people of different age groups and nationalities together since it is easy for everyone to get along with the rhythm of the music and hence they unfortunately tend to okay right oh wow look at the correct correctness they say looking good <laughs> oh wow i'm happy and overall score is 88 still i don't understand why they have highlighted this why they have highlighted unite kind of and you know stuff like that i think um, we can improve it even more but um i think sansita what do you think if somebody will give this essay in the aisles would they get a seven band score oh, perhaps higher than that or i don't really? know <laughs> yeah so, uh -huh. We will, I think uh, the day I post this video, I will only post it if I will get a seven or more in my eyes. <laughs> so I believe that this video would really help everyone, right? Okay, Tanjita. I'm turning off the video right now. Thank you everybody for watching. And then thank you, Tanjita, for being there and for pushing me to <laughs> study IELTS. Mm -hmm. Really, it's good to have a mentor like that. <laughs> nice. Not mentor. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Tanjita. Okay, bye everybody. Tanjita, say bye to everyone. Okay, I love this everyone.